Hi everyone, this is Ron Tran with Educational Technology Services here at Denison and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to use Google Sites. So Google Sites is a free web page building application that's included within the Google Suite and what's nice about Google Sites is that you can use it as a platform for storytelling and presentations so I'll show you how to set it up. So the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and search for Google Sites and click on this first link and immediately you'll notice that you have a bunch of different templates that you can choose from and if I click on template gallery then I can see I have a bunch of other templates that I can choose but for our purposes I'm just going to go ahead and create a blank site and so this is what you're going to see when you open up a blank Google site and there's a few things to point out so first if I go over to the right here and click on themes there's a few different preset themes that I can choose from along with changing the color scheme and font style. Um, so we can just pick one and let's change the color. We can change the font if we want. And this is going to change the look and feel of your entire site. So next I'm going to go over to pages and this is how you're going to set up the different sections within your site. So we have our home page set up already and if I click on this plus button at the bottom it will create a new page and so I can give it a name, let's we'll call it Table of Contents. And you can see over here that's created a new section in this menu. And if I click on it, it'll bring me to that page. Now I can make a sub page by clicking on the page and dragging it directly on top of another page. And you'll see in the menu here that it creates a drop down menu. And again, I can go ahead and click on those pages to get there. So now that we've talked about choosing our theme and setting up our pages, we can get into the many ways that you can add text and media to your site. And so first off, I have the option to change this menu at the top by clicking on this little gear icon. And if I go over to mode, I can choose a sidebar. You see over here, and it creates a little sidebar. It's the same menu. And I also have the option to change the color to white, black, or I can keep it transparent. So I can give my site a name by going over to here, entering site name, so we'll just call it test site. And now if I go over to the right here, I have a bunch of different generic options that I can use to insert text and images. So if I click on one, it'll create a little text box and I can type in here. And then I can also change the text style. So if I want to make it a title, then I could hit return and then keep typing. I can add subsections by having a little subheading. And now if I want, I can duplicate this section with this little icon right here. Or I can go ahead and delete it using the trash can. So then I can also insert images. If I click on images, I can either upload or select an image. So I can actually search in my drive or I can search by URL. I can even search using Google, so if I wanted to look for a dog, I can go ahead and I can insert an image, and that'll insert it for me. So I can crop it using this little scaler. I also have the option to uncrop it if I want, and I can also insert a link to an image. So if you wanted to, you can add a link, and then if you click on the image, it'll take you directly to that link. And then I can delete it as well. So we'll go ahead and delete that section. So going down to layouts, these are some preset layouts that you can insert um, that will kind of set up your page for you. So if I click on one of these, it kind of sets up a section where I can add images and then text underneath. Um, and it really depends on how you want your page to look. But these layouts are kind of here just so you don't have to set it up yourself. And now I also have the option to move sections within a page around. So if you look over here to these dots on the left, if I click and drag, then I can just drag this below a section. And it'll switch up the format of the page. So now if I scroll down a bit, I can see that I have a bunch of different options that I can use to insert into the site. Now I'm not going to go over everything, but just a few of the options that I think will be helpful. You can insert collapsible text, which basically means that it'll add an automatic subsection if you click on it. So title and whenever people go to your site all they'll do is they click on the text and you'll see the subsection pop up so another useful one is the image carousel 
And what this is, is it allows you to choose multiple images and it puts it into one section. So I'm just gonna choose some more dog photos. If I select multiple photos, then it'll create this little carousel that people will be able to swipe through. So as you can see, you have a lot of different options. Again, you could add a YouTube link, you could add a Google Slides form, um, just a lot of different options to customize your page. So when you're done editing your page, what you can do up at the top here is if I click on Preview, this will show me what my website will look like whenever I send it to people. And I can see it in different options like a tablet, more phone. And now when you're done editing your page, I can go up to Publish. And I can give my site an address, so we'll call it Ron's website. And as you can see, you'll get this URL right here. Again, you can manage who you can view your site. So if I click on Manage, and I just want my professor to be able to see it, um, I can go ahead and add their email here. Or again, I can just have anyone with a Denison email be able to view it. So I'll go ahead and click Publish. So now if I go ahead and click View, then this is going to be my page. And I can copy and paste this link and send it to whoever I need to. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this helps with any of your projects or presentations. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to servicedesk at denison.edu.